night. Um, I'm a little bummed out. Uh, show last night, a guy came up to me and he said, hey, you look like a gay terrorist. <laughs> really, how threatening is that? <laughs> Two snaps, kaboom! <laughs> Do that. Weird. Tripped me out. So I'm originally from New Mexico. Yes, thank you, that's about right. And uh, I hate being from New Mexico because I tell people where I'm from and they go, wow, your English is good. <laughs> I wanna say thanks, I was studying Rosetta Stone in my teepee before I came out. <laughs> celebrate diversity every day because my dad is Mexican, yeah! And my mom is Canadian. <laughs> I'm a Mexanadian. Uh, or Hispanook, whichever way you guys. <laughs> it's embarrassing being a Mexican-Canadian. I don't even, I, have you seen our flag, the Mexican-Canadian flag? It's just a picture of two beavers fighting over Chalupa. It's really nothing. <laughs> Bad. I didn't know there was racism against my people, against the Mexican Canadians, until I went to Arkansas. I get off stage, this huge cowboy comes up to me. And he goes, You're nothing but a gosh damn spicking Mexican. <laughs> I said, Hey, pal. That's good. How do you spell spicking Mexican? Is that two K's or three? <laughs> what is that? But this guy, he blew my mind culturally because he was from Arkansas but he was Chinese. <laughs> yeah, he was a chillbilly. And, uh, well, he said chillbilly, and I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> I turned to him, I said, listen, Jimmy Joe, Jim Bob Chang, I... <laughs> Turns out he's a great cook. He makes a mean Kung Pao chicken fried steak with grits. You guys should... <laughs> Check him out on the Beijing Food Network sometime. It's all right. It's good. It's exciting. Um, so before I got into comedy, I, I taught. I don't know if we have any teachers here tonight. So God bless you. It's a tough. It's a tough. It's a tough deal. People would always tell me, "Oh, you get uh, you get summers off. It's so easy to do. It's hard." Because I remember I had to teach high school English for two years. And I don't know if you knew this, but America's last in three things. We're last in math. We're last in science. And we're last in English. How's that possible? That's our language. I'm sure America collectively got its report card back and was like, an F in English? I thought I spoke it good. Uh, if you didn't laugh at that joke, you should probably take my class. Uh, all good. Exciting. I substitute taught for a while. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Substitute teachers don't know what they're doing. Yeah, because the school board came to me and said, hey, could you substitute teach an advanced math class? I said, yeah, sure, fractions, combinators, then manumanominator, whatever the name is, what? <laughs> they said, don't mess around, this is an advanced math class. I got to the math class, I opened the book, it looked like the code from the Matrix. <laughs> okay. uh, had the teacher's edition book, I didn't know how to read it back to those kids. Cause I, hey, Mr. Bach, what's the answer for question five? <laughs> Looks like a circle with a line through it. <laughs> An upside down triangle? Uh, maybe a pair of goggles. I have no idea what's going on here. It's a free day, all right? Run along, Timmy. Still in the game, though, I teach uh, international students uh, at the university level. Favorite uh, people to teach are the Arabs. They're a lot of fun because they have a great sense of humor. They make me think that they might be Hezbollah or Al Qaeda, you know, just so I give them a better grade on their exam, that kind of stuff. Like, Mr. Baca, here's a rese, great wisely. <laughs> And they're always texting in my class. And I'm like, if they're terrorists, do terrorists actually text? And if they do, it's like, hey, Ahmed, I'm here in front of the bar. I'm ready to blow it up. Uh, I have the backpack, but I forgot the explosives. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I'm Matt Baca. Thank you so much, Marty. You guys are the best. Have a great night.